What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News, baby. Hashtag Farms of News. Today, we've got 16 PC mods in testing. We've got three console mods in testing. The new Cavernland and Vicon Equipment Pack DLC is out. A-Dub shows off a new Massey Baylor. The Alien Paul teases us. Vertex Design have some new Amazon tools. Plus, Sid Modding's already working on the new John Deere X9. It was only announced this morning. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Agrim Transport Tool. Betnar 30 Box FB3000. Big Bell Storage Pack. Crescetto Pack. Harrow's 3. Horse Titan 34 UW. Horse Stable. HTZ 17 Lizard Reach Mower, Lizard SO25M, New Holland and Fiat Agri Pack, the console version of Sandy Bay 19, Stationary Wood Chipper, Terminal Gentle, Ursus 1654 1954 Pack, and Welcome to Stone Valley Farming Agency Edition. In testing for console, we have the Gorgonero Super 5M, Lizard Haytail, and the Sapima Cultivator Pack. With all that being said, we still have 205 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 6 work days. Today, Giants released the new Cavernland and Vicon Equipment Pack DLC to Farming Simulator 19. The pack brings 20 new pieces of equipment and tools from Cavernland Group and allows you to run your farm with even more options. The new DLC is available on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and even Google Stadia. I do have all versions purchased and will be doing a comparison video later on today between the different platforms that will be linked in the description once it is released. The DLC can be purchased for $14.99 USD, or if you're on console and own the season pass, you will get the DLC for free. Just download it from your corresponding console store. If you want to check the DLC out in detail, I've already released quite a few videos showing it off, and I will leave a link to the playlist in the description below. Adub Modding shows off even more progress on the old Massey pack today. We've got the Massey Ferguson MF5 Square Baler, which is nearing completion and was one of my favorite pieces of equipment from the original pack back in FS17. I didn't go without it on any map. Adub says he has 23 out of the 28 things for the pack done, averaging around one or two a day, which is crazy. We also get two new fact sheets for the pack, the MF11 Fertilizer Spreader, which is going to cost you $4,800 and will hold 500 liters of solid fertilizer. Also has a working width of 20 meters at 20 kilometers or around 12 miles per hour. And secondly, the MF23 Cultivator. This is going to cost you 6,500 bucks, requires 88 horsepower, has a working width of 5 meters at 17 kilometers per hour or around 10 or 11 miles per hour. I will keep you updated on the progress of this pack as more information is available. The Alien Paul, one of the members of Farming Agency responsible for the Maze Plus mod, dropped a teaser photo today saying, no comment, with the Maze Plus CCM extension logo at the bottom. What do you think this is? To me, this looks like a food mixer of some sort, which would make sense because this is a CCM mod. So again, let me know what you think this is down in the comment section. Vertex Design show off some new mods today, the Amazon Subsoiler, Rotary Harrow, and Rotary Cultivator. These are the first in-game pictures with more to come. They may not be huge implements, but Vertex Design is known for making some of the most beautiful and detailed mods that you will ever find in Farming Simulator. They say they can't be sure about a console release, depending on the scripting used for the tool, but they will have more information soon. And lastly today, something very exciting. With the official announcement from John Deere this morning about the X9 Combine, Sid Modding is already hard at work on designing one for Farming Simulator 19. He just simply says, born the first day of the John Deere X9. Notable features for the real-life version are a 630 horsepower engine, front wheels or tracks, and a 420 bushel grain tank with a 4.6 bushel per second unload rate. To give you an idea, one bushel is equal to about 35 liters, so that means that this can have a capacity of up to 14,700 liters, but that's just the base model. We could see something much, much larger in game, and we have from Sid Modding. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with this model, and I can't wait to see what's next. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all the topics that we've talked about today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, and if I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!
I found a candy cane in my cabinet from Christmas, and I've been eating it today.